As the eternal cycle of day and night continued, morning light unveiled the ravages of time and self-inflicted calamity. A world that was nothing more than a barren and desolate rock floating in space. Then came the thundering engines of a scout ship, bringing the first echoing sounds in over a million years to this arid landscape. For the celestial explorers, this was just another place to chart, catalog, and investigate, like the thousands that had come before it. They hoped to find something. Evidence of life, perhaps. An ancient fossil signified that life had existed here, long ago. Then, the faint signal emanating from their device posed a question. Was this the product of an unknown intelligence? They followed the signal which grew stronger, their scans indicating that just ahead was an object of massive proportions. Kneeling over the source of the signal, they carefully brushed back the sand and discovered a hatch. But to what? Once the handle was carefully turned, the hatch opened. Musty light bled into the dark abyss, exposing hundreds of metallic pods lining the chamber walls. Their fellow travelers were beckoned. And to their wonderment, the pods contained remnants of a long lost civilization, affirming that this third planet from its sun was once abundant with life. With the impending end of their world, the pods had been engineered in the hope that they would one day be discovered. And the living embryonic life forms induced into a state of suspended animation would somehow be reborn into a new world. For the inhabitants of this planet once known as Earth, it would be a new beginning, a new age for mankind. Humanity would live once again. that there's a cover-up and that there are aliens visiting and so forth. Uh, I think we do need to recognize that a new era has begun for mankind. I happen to be privileged enough to be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet. And the UFO phenomenon is real, although it's been covered up by our governments for quite a long time. The United States government knew a whole lot more about UFOs than it was telling the American public. That there was an intelligence involved, that there was a highly evolved technology, that to a degree we were carrying on a dialogue with this intelligence. Because I read NATO military material that indicated that the UFOs were not only real, but they represented something far beyond anything I had ever imagined before. Can I get uh, $60 on pump four, please? Sure. Thanks. I understand over the years, uh, some peculiar things have been happening around these parts. Cattle mutilations, strange lights in the sky, things of that sort. No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Okay. Set to go? Yes, sir.
Yes. Ask why you chose me? I've known who you are for some time now. You seem like an honest man. Well, I'm about the truth. And if what you're about to tell me is the truth, am I to understand we're all in very grave danger? Yes. In five days, human existence as you know it will forever change. Why don't we start with your name? Jalen. Jalen. So, Jalen, who are you? You're speaking of the Phoenix Lights incident? Are you trying to tell me you were aboard that craft? Yes. And where, may I ask, are you from, Jalen? A star system in the constellation Zenate. I am Andromedan. We were six. Our task was to monitor human conditions and to determine the degree of infiltration. Infiltration by whom? Alpha Draconians. Draconians? Andromedans are one of 139 planetary systems that comprise the Interstellar Alliance. We are and have always been the watchdogs of the universe for nearly two million years and we've been at war with the Draconians for nearly 100,000 of those years. They are a malevolent species whose prime directive is to conquer and destroy. Entire star systems have been wiped out by their aggression. And now we've become a target? You've always been a target. Three million of your population are comprised of these beings. They are the 1% that control the government, the corporations, the media. Years ago, the nation's leaders struck a deal with the Draconians. In exchange for global control, a virtual enslavement of your people, a select few would be granted amnesty from the coming onslaught. They would be allowed to live out their existence underground. Many have already begun to do so. And this onslaught, is this what's going to happen in five days? Two days ago, a draconian warship reached the outer rim of your solar system. Their army is coming here to establish complete dominion it has always been our intent to shield you from this threat. But we are entrenched in war, and we haven't the means to bring a fleet here to protect you. It is to be your darkest age.
As I promised. It's documents, photos, videos, and maps of every secret military underground base on the planet, as well as a complete database of all occupants of those bases. And you believe that this is enough to convince the public? Regardless, in five days they will all believe. You mentioned there were... Excuse me. Jalen. Please stop it. here on government business. I may borrow a pen and a piece of paper. Sure. Thank you. The gentleman in room 15 is under my protective custody. There are people looking for him. If anyone should come inquiring, I would appreciate it if you would give me a call. It's a matter of national security, you see. Okay. Thank you. feeling better? You gonna tell me what happened? Not now. Okay. What time is it? It's uh, half past three. We need to go. Where? We're meeting someone. Who? A friend. You mentioned that there were six of you. Where are the others? Gone. As in left or died? Died. I'm very sorry. We were hunted down one by one. All that they died for is this. It's a Pyrian. It contains a collective data of human progression as well as draconian war plans. Information that could be very helpful in our cause in overcoming them. And how are you gonna get that to your people? A rescue ship arrives tomorrow. Tomorrow? At sunfall. So you're going home? No. I'm not. Turn left up here.
Your friend, is he... From here? No. She's Arcturian. Well, I don't think I've ever met an Arcturian before. Is she part of this interstellar alliance? They are. Are they here to help us? Very much so. Good. That's good. They're here. This is Robert. The one you spoke of? Yes. I am Tanjara. I am pleased to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. We would like to extend our deepest regret. We cannot help you in this matter. We are not a violent species. And not equipped for war. I'm sorry, Robert. The Arcturians have always been here, silently monitoring human progress, along with several other races. But now they're all returning home. You mean evacuating? So now we really are alone? Yes. Thousands of years of accumulated human data ends here. You could have gone back with them, why didn't you? Or at least given them the Pyrian. 
They've fulfilled their duties to the council. This is not one of them. And as I stated before, I'm not leaving. John? John Walker? Yes, yes, this is John Walker. It's Denise from the motel. You told me to call if anyone came inquiring. Well, there are government agents inside his room as we speak. Oh, you didn't tell him anything, did you? No, I didn't. But these guys have real badges. Denise, I owe you big. There's government agents in your room right now. Somehow they knew we were there. Any idea how? Yes. All right, we're gonna have to ditch this car and hitch a ride into Albuquerque. What's in Albuquerque? A friend. Whatever it is you're not telling me, Jalen, I need to know. We're running out of time. I was compelled by her. I began experiencing feelings I never had before. As if I was meant to find her. I felt myself avoiding better judgment that this was wrong. A forbidden code of conduct in my task here. I allowed it to happen. I wanted it to happen. Andromedans enforce a very structured mating ritual. Our choice for a companion is never our own and never random. We are conditioned this way from birth. And therefore, there's never the opportunity for... I'm falling in love? Yes. But did she know the truth about you? Not at the time. But I couldn't stay in one place for too long, so... the day approached when I had to tell her. I haven't been entirely honest with you. What do you mean? There are people looking for me. Who's looking for you? Do you need any help? I'm not from here. I'm not from Los Angeles. And I'm not from the United States. I'm not from Earth. The people looking for me are getting close. They also are not from Earth. What do you, what do you mean you're not from Earth? I don't- Melissa, I care about you deeply. Why are you telling me this? To protect you. By your association with me, I fear I am putting you in danger as well. Danger? How can you, how can you expect me to 
believe this. And just, please just make me understand. Alyssa, there are things, there are worlds outside of this one you have no idea of. And I am from one of these worlds. I knew I would never see her again. I was devastated. But we were more connected than I even imagined. She could hear my thoughts. She could feel my pain in losing her. You were telepathically linked? Yes. Without my intention, it just happened. And soon we found each other again, and we left together heading west. And what happened? my worst fear. They found us. I managed to get away unharmed, but she was not so fortunate. So you're saying that she's... Dead? No. But they took her. Do you know where she is? She's a prisoner underground at the base at Dulce. They've been torturing her. So the telepathic link between the two of you is how they tracked you? Yes. Look, uh, I have no idea what you must be going through right now. You never told me her name. Her name is Alyssa. And she carries my child. been an associate of Chaitin since the early 90s. He's devoted his life to researching anomalous phenomena and has established a strong following in the UFO arena. He was one of the first to get hold of the secret flying disc file of the FBI and sensitive documents from the CIA, Air Force, Army, and other government agencies. The price he's paid for bringing the truth to the public are death threats, imprisonment, and being shot at. He is a good man, and I trust him as I would a brother.
Thanks a lot, Derek. I appreciate it. Can you give us a moment? You don't know how good it is to see you, my friend, Jaden. Likewise. You look good. A lot better than I feel. Uh, this is the gentleman that I was telling you about, Jalen. Welcome. I'm going to show him the footage. Why don't we start with your name? Jalen. Jalen. So, Jalen, who are you? Jalen. Jalen, what's happened? Jalen. They took it, Robert. They took our baby. All right, we gotta, we gotta go. I'll take you to my house. Oh, that'll be perfect. It's safer. Establish complete dominion. It has always been our intent to shield you from this threat. But we are entrenched in war and we haven't the means to bring a fleet here to protect you. It is to be your darkest age.
Open that one. That's amazing. Wow. We're at the North Trope Underground Base, 25 miles north of Lancaster, California, known as the Chayon Ranch. Country Pass is no trespassing property of the United States government, son. And the entrance to the facility is at the base of the Telechapi Mountains. And I'm about to show you exactly where it's at. The coordinates in the map are in this folder with the video. Now this base is used to develop anti-gravity propulsion, which is basically reverse engineer technology from crash UFOs. Now if you ask anyone in neutral, they'll tell you that's an electromagnetic research facility, which is an outright lie. UFO sightings are seen here by locals constantly. There are three underground bases in the area, all of which are linked by tunnels. It is also with the grace coexists with the military personnel. It's cloaked to the naked eye by technology known as active camouflage, otherwise known as a projected hologram. This technology, believe it or not, has been around since World War II. As you can see, is perfectly concealed as you reach this point. And now I'm gonna go through. Guys, if I'm not out in one minute, you get the hell out of here. We're gonna set the world on fire with this. I think so. Oh, yes, this is the passageway that leads to the main stairwell. This is the first of 42 levels. That's right. That's how deep this thing goes, okay? Uh, I'm sure you're aware of my presence, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. There, I got it. Dude, we got a helicopter. Right behind you. See? Oh shit, we gotta go. I think you're right. No, wait, 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 go back one. Jalen. Is this her? It is. Who is she? A young woman Jalen had the good taste to fall in love with. You do have good taste, my friend. She's being held at the Dulce base. I'm quite sure her friends and family would be interested to know that. How soon will you be able to upload? Right now. Where are the files going to? an old compadre of mine. They'll upload to 60 servers globally. The initial launch should reach about 6 million people. What's ETA? Just under four hours. By morning, the floodgates will be open. Thirty-five point thirty-nine degrees north. And one oh six point five four degrees west. Southwest corner of the Hamas Canyon Reservoir. Remember, Sunfall. You'll give them the Pyrian. And Robert. You can go with them. Like you, Jalen, there are people that I can't leave behind. Not with what's coming. Where will you go? Into the wolf's den. To be near the woman he loves. The Dulce base. 
Are you sure you're not human? How will you get there? I will take you. Jalen? I'm fine. Are you sure? Pikaginahishka, Robert, Ike, Jalen, Nohashka, Elissa. Achto, ti hayu, tishkoyu, gojoro, usen. Enza, narisu, anakusis. Anakusis. Despite the circumstances, I'm happy to have known you, Robert. The feeling's mutual. I hope that we've made a difference, you and I. We have. Jalen, I'd like to wish you good luck, but... Luck won't help me. A miracle, perhaps. Where will you go? Chicago. I've got a niece there that I'm quite fond of. And a brother who hasn't spoken to me in 20 years. He doesn't believe in all this UFO crap. <laughs> I see an exoneration in your near future, my friend. has been deceived for thousands of years. How so? The moon is an artificial construct. It is a base where Alpha Draconians and other races have been manipulating human perception by means of a projected signal. In your way of understanding, they've hacked into the human consciousness and programmed exactly what they want you to see. Corroborating the stories that NASA doctored photos of bases on the moon's dark side. The role of NASA in this deceit is greater than you can imagine. Thank you. 
Stop right there. You know what's coming. You know we're gonna lose. It's inevitable. What do you think you're gonna do? What do you think you can do? I'm a human being just like you. No, you're not. What would life be like there? Harmonious. Tranquil. A planet has a single continent. Two suns. No seasons, it's a constant temperature. Are there any oceans? There is one. Our water's of a different consistency, a different color contains all of the nutrients that we require. There is no need for food. Though we are at war, we will live in a safe zone. Our child will be shielded from the dangers coming here. Time is different there. Our lifespan will be three times what it is here on Earth. Really? We are free of all diseases and all illnesses. Starting to sound like paradise. With you there, it will be.
Robert. Robert, can you hear me? Robert, are you there? Jalen. I'm speaking to you with my thoughts. Where are you? They have me in captivity. And Robert, they killed Shayton. There was nothing I could do. I'm inside the base. I'm where I need to be. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen to me very carefully. In about 40 minutes, you'll have the files to upload. Text me when it's done, but do not, I repeat, do not do anything until you hear from me. If you don't hear from me by this time tomorrow, launch. Is that clear? Yeah. I'll keep this brief, Jalen. Knowing the impossibility of rescuing your companion, I can only imagine that you came here with the hopes to see her, to be with her. This was a misjudgment. We will not grant this union. As for yourself, like your five companions before you, you will be dissected and studied by our scientists in hopes that we might better understand your telepathic abilities. You may be aware that one of our duties here is to see to the appetites of our hosts. Your companion will be euthanized and parts of her extracted for the delicacies. As for the son you fathered, he will be taken to Capella, where in manhood he will serve as a draconian agent. He, in turn, will father hybrids, who will also serve in this capacity. So you see, you will be serving a significant contribution to the draconian cause. And for this, we are grateful. Dulce Base is located beneath the Archuleta Mesa. 
The size is 4.6 miles in diameter. The base has seven levels, the last two of which are designated for lab experimentation. These tests are carried out by humans and draconians. It's the sixth level where Lissa is being held. One of the secret entrances is on the Mesa itself. The location was delivered to us by one of our allies and contained on the disk drive I gave you. And you're just gonna walk in the back door? Unless they find me first. What makes you think they won't kill you? It's a chance I'm willing to take. She must be a very special woman. Yes. Welcome, Mr. Casey. Check him. And who may I ask are you? Merrick. This is Treya. Let me guess. Draconians? We are. Well, then I'm certainly not pleased to meet you. It's clean. I found this. Whatever your reason is for coming here, understand, we have no intention nor interest in keeping you alive. So I'm dead either way, right? Correct. No one will be spared. Why? The Earth's position in this solar system provides us with a strategic and tactical advantage. Robert, the human role in the universe is inconsequential. That may be so, but we have a right to exist. Only if we allow it. And we don't. Well, 
before you start waving your victory flag, might I suggest examining the contents of the drive you hold in your hand. I think you'll find it very consequential. All right, take him. And Robert, Jalen had something we very much want. It's a gray stone that contains crystals. What, you mean the Perian? Yes. You wouldn't know where it is, would you? Sure. It's right here. Self-retaining attractive this. Preparing euthanization. It's time, Jalen. seem that your drive contains sensitive information that some here find distressing. However, all it can serve is to tell people what they'll find out anyway in four days. Yes. But you're forgetting one thing. The locations of all your hidden bases and their secret entrances. What do you think, I just waltzed in here? I want you to think of tens of thousands of me storming your underground castles with automatic weapons. You'll have one hell of a shitstorm to contend with. And don't think for one moment it won't happen. Vengeance and survival at all costs are two very profound impulses we humans have. I see. So am I then to understand that this information has not yet been released? No, it hasn't. But if I don't make a phone call, it'll go viral to a few million people. By sundown, your phones will be ringing off the hook, and in a few days, you'll be running from a shower of bullets. Now, I also have the power to keep it from going out at all. And then you cowards can hide down here in your underground fortress without any worries. And why should we trust you? Because I'm not so eager to hand out doomsday news to the world. These last few days of life are all we have left. Why spoil it? Indeed. All right. What are your terms in exchange for this? Arrangements been made.
know they're safe. Yes. It's done. We're safe now. And we are grateful. Yeah, it's me. Launch. You have betrayed your promise to me. On behalf of the 7.1 billion humans on this planet Earth that you have condemned, fuck you. The day that was mankind's darkest came, and the invasion began. At first, the takeover was not so easy. The resistance from the humans was formidable, but in time, futile. Most of the underground bases were stormed, many died. Within weeks, the genocide had begun. By the time our fleet returned months later, nearly one half of all humans had been exterminated. In a battle that raged for many days, our fleet managed to rescue nearly three million humans. It was our only return to Earth. By now it is certain that the remaining human population is long gone. The ones rescued represent all that is left of mankind.
the Arcturus constellation is a planet very much like Earth and uninhabited. Known as Yurtes, it is here where humans have already begun their renaissance. Free of war, instability, and oppression, their rebirth has been prosperous. As a science officer of the Andromedan Council, I often frequent Yurtes with Alyssa at my side to monitor the human development and I'm often reminded of the final passage of one of Robert's short stories. For the inhabitants of this planet once known as Earth, it would be a new beginning, a new age for mankind. Humanity would live once again. <laughs>